it's been almost 10 years since I shot my very first New York Fashion Week show, which to me is crazy. Time goes by so fast. So in commemoration of that, I just thought I would create a video to talk about my experience with it. If you're trying to get into New York Fashion Week, to trying to like shoot or work behind the scenes, like what that looks like. So a little bit about my background before I start talking about New York Fashion Week. I was always so enamored with fashion photography. So looking at fashion magazines, looking at billboards, these photographers and artists, uh, models, makeup artists, hairstylists, uh, wardrobe stylists, they would just create these worlds that were just so amazing. And that's actually why I moved to New York City. Like the main driver was so that I could work in fashion and in beauty and help recreate those iconic images that I'd seen growing up. So my first show was in 2014. I did a show with Sally LaPointe and I had no idea what to expect. Basically the brief for the project was get a little bit behind the scenes, get some of the runway, get some of the models, um, showing off the clothing and so on and so forth. And it was, it was such a hectic environment. It was um, really challenging to get all the shots, but we came away with some really great stuff and I was just hooked. And ever since then, I've been shooting Fashion Week on and off, you know, just depending on my availability and what my clients are doing at the time. And so even though my career has progressed in a way where I'm mostly focusing on commercial work now and a little bit of narrative, anytime I get a call to shoot New York Fashion Week, I always just jump at the opportunity if my schedule allows, just because I, I was so inspired by the whole thing. I love the environment. It's a hectic environment. It's a fun environment. It's a great place to be. I love the energy. So how do you go about shooting New York Fashion Week? If you don't know anyone, you're not sure like what the process is. Well, there are a lot of different ways to go about it. One way, the, the most obvious way is you already have a connection to the brand. So someone within the brand, the clothing line, and whatever it is that you're shooting, you know someone in, in there and then you can offer your service to go shoot with them. That's the most obvious way. The next way of getting in is there are actually opportunities to shoot with the people working with the brands. So you can actually start connecting with people who might be working backstage. So hairstylists, makeup artists, maybe people who are working in production who need some sort of service to capture what, what it is they're doing. And so that's actually one of the ways that I worked New York Fashion Week for a few years where I got connected to Ted Gibson, iconic hairstylist, and I was doing a bunch of their Fashion Week uh, shows for maybe three or four years. And what I was doing for them was I was shooting BTS for them and the runway and some tutorials backstage. So sometimes they would do some tutorials. And here are some examples of that playing on the screen here. And so essentially, even though you're capturing content for a specific brand within the fashion show, you're still at the particular shows that they're at. You're still covering pretty much the same thing, except you're focused more on whatever it is they're trying to do. And you're coming away with the experience of working at Fashion Week. So if you have certain connections or maybe you are working towards working around makeup or in hair or any of those industries, you can maybe utilize that to try to figure out, how, you know, is there a way that you can get in through the contacts from that particular uh, brand that you're working with? So another way to shoot a Fashion Week show is actually shoot a smaller show. There are many brands out there who are just getting started. They just need, they just need coverage. And that gets you experience if you haven't really shot New York Fashion Week before, because it'll give you a sense of the environment, like what goes on, like what happens in the very beginning when people are just starting there, starting to go there and get set up, the hair makeup process. Also when the models are doing their first looks in terms of coming out for the first time and showing all the photographers what that looks like before they actually go do the runway. And then the runway itself. So if you don't have a lot of experience, if you're a little bit nervous about going straight into one of the bigger shows, that's a great way to get started. Another way that I've seen other photographers and creatives shoot Fashion Week shows is they actually sign up for the actual show itself and then they would go shoot it. Sometimes you can get a media pass depending on the show. It changes every year and it changes per show because it's all, it's all different. Like New York Fashion Week is just made up of a whole bunch of different shows from large designers to small designers, like I said. And everyone is gonna have their own different criteria or their rules for media and what that looks like. Obviously the bigger shows, you're gonna have way more scrutiny, way more security and things of that nature. And it's gonna be harder to get in if you're not already established or you know people who are part of the team. The thing with that is that when you're getting a ticket to go in the front of the show just to shoot it for yourself, really to build your portfolio, you're not gonna get the behind the scenes work that a lot of brands would actually pay for because you know, you're know you not gonna have access to that. You generally need a pass to get backstage so that you can shoot all the action happening back there, you capture the energy and so on and so forth. There's a lot to be captured back there. It's not just the actual runway show itself. So what is shooting at New York Fashion Week like? Hectic, 
crazy, stressful, but really fun, good vibes type energy. And it's so funny to hear myself say that because, you know, when you're in the moment, when you're just trying to capture as much as you can with the assignment that you've been given by whatever brand you're working with, sometimes the time, like three or four hours just goes by super quick because things only happen like once or twice. Like when people are doing the first looks, that only happens once for a very short amount of time. And then the runway happens in like 10 minutes. So oftentimes you don't have a lot of time to do things. So it's, to me, it's just like such a great opportunity to hone the skills of like finding the right angle right away, like pre-visualizing stuff. It's really, so from that perspective, it's really fun. It's a great energy if you like that live environment. So it's really cool when you shoot the pit because you're literally seeing all the models coming down and you're with maybe 20 to 50 other photographers, depending on how large the stage is um, for the, the pit. And essentially, you know, if you, if you're not working with a brand specifically, you're probably going to have to like find like a little off angle. That's not like the direct angle. If you're working with the brand directly, you, you're getting like one of the main angles with the models, like looking right down on the camera barrel. So that's a cool experience too. But oftentimes when you're working in the pit, a lot of the people that are there to actually shoot the show for the designer or for one of the media outlets that are covering the show, they get first pick of like where they're going to be standing. And oftentimes when people who are shooting from show to show or just shooting that one show, they have to kind of scramble and figure out the spot that they're going to fit in. And so most people, most of the time, if they've been there for a while, they kind of know the deal and they'll be nice and they'll like kind of let you in because everyone's just trying to do their job. But there are other people who they may not be the nicest people because they're just trying to get theirs. They don't care about you. They don't care about the people around them. They're just trying to, you know, get their shot and be, and be done with it. And so if you're going to shoot in your fashion, we kind of be ready for that. Most of the people I've met, like 95 to 99% of people have been totally fine. They've been super nice, but you do get those people every now and then who are just kind of like, they think they're, you know, the hot ish or whatever. And they just try to try to push you out or they try to like one up you for whatever reason their ego needs but but yeah you know with that said i love the environment of new york fashion week i still continue to shoot it to this day because the energy is great you get to see some amazing clothing all right guys that is my take on new york fashion week i hope that shed some light on what it's like to work behind the scenes and if you have any questions about working behind the scenes or anything like that post them below i'd be happy to answer any questions that i can otherwise i will see you in the next video all right guys Peace.